Barbs and Bozos. This Wednesday is going to be November 10th, and this one works for both regular and advanced class. We're all doing the same fun article about punching children because who doesn't want to read about that? Uh, see, we're going to go to library tomorrow, and then the canned food drive goes to next Friday. Uh, you have your choice. You can either give the canned food to me for B points or your best teacher if you're trying to do it for the actual contest. Charger challenge is tomorrow after school. Hopefully, we're going to be winners. We should be good to go. For the I saw it, Cleveland. I like the positivity. Homework. Once you get it done, make sure you send it to me so I can give you points for that one. It is late. Highest grade you get is the seven out of ten. I am no longer going to make kids stand for the missing work because it seems like I was doing more work than kids were. I will accept the late work and I will still charge you the B points and give you a late grade, but. I figured if you guys don't want to do your homework and just take the F, then so be it. Okay. Uh, checkpoint is end of the book coming up on uh, technically Monday. Friday is just to make it so it connects to the e-learning, but really you have till Monday if you need the weekend to finish reading. And to there. For human -y people, let's jump to this. So home children, this is where you're going to need to open up Canvas here in a moment. Not yet. We'll do a talky thing first, but then you can go through and do it. Five questions for today we're going to go through and do. The first two you'll be able to answer right away here in a moment. And the last three you'll have to sort of wait a moment. So question number one, without reading the article, just the title, which says, Lawyer claims man who punched 11-year-old girl was defending himself. My question is, what do you think this article is going to be about? And I don't mean a man punching a child. And you're not raising your hands. You're going to be typing it in just a moment. I'm just giving you a heads up. I want to know the situation that causes it to occur. And again, you're not typing yet. That's why your iPad is so closed. I'm just doing a typing thing that seems to confuse children. So I just want you to give me what situation you think is involved. And I will tell you now, there's no weapon. There's no knife. There's no gun. It is just going to be involving a man and children. And the fact that the man is going to punch a child. Two, can you come up with a situation where you think half this class is going to support a 250 pound man punching an 11 year old child? So can you come up with a situation where you think half the class is going to support it? Because so far that's been about our ratio. We've been about split, except for first period, which really was on team old man. Because yeah. apparently they like seeing small children get punched. Yeah. But yeah. third period was a bit more split, and we'll sort of see how you guys go. Number three, give me an example of a fact and opinion. There's two articles. If you flip it over, there's a backside of it. We're just not going to do that backside quite yet because I found out. We get to find out what happened to the girl and the boy, or the girl and the old man. And so I found out like a little court thing and stuff like that, and we'll read to that one. So give me fact and opinion. Four, give me something that surprised you in the article. Hopefully it's not just old man punches child because that's right there in the title and there's plenty of surprising things that happen. And then I did track down video. We are going to watch video and then I'm going to want to know your opinion after seeing video. Which side are you on? Team child or team old man? Team old man. That's what we're going for. And now you can open up iPad and I'll walk you guys through it. You're only answering one and two right now. So whatever your opinions are for one and two. Home children, here's where you can go to and do home one and two also. You might have to pause for a moment if you want to. That's fine with me. Hit the little button thing. And then pause the thing and you should be good. Omar? Um, which one's the front side? Which one's the back one? Starting with the one that has the man's face on it. So that's the one we're going to be starting with. By the way, that's his mugshot I tracked down for Ew, you. What? And I have a larger color version I'll be putting up for you in a moment. Oh, so you can see man's now. giant face up there. Oh, uh, yeah. Gross. Yeah. Gross. Um, if you don't know where to go, by the way, it's Wednesday. You click on the little mm, article. What? And you go up and there. And then it brings up all the questiony things there. Um. Here, I've come up with fake answers for you to give you an idea of what I'm looking for. So if you do something like this, that's all I want from you. That will get you your full points. So I went for number one, what I think happened in this article. A teacher finally snaps and loses it on an insane class of kids because that would be a dream. Two, and so how can I come up with a situation where it would be okay for an old man to punch a child? A teacher defending themselves during a student revolution. Viva la revolucion! And then as the kids come out, drops a child. 
three for my fact and opinion. The fact in the article is the students were in a seventh grade classroom. Opinion, the teacher said the kids were brats and the boy was being sassy. That's not from our article. I just made those up. I didn't want to give you spoilers. So that's just what I'm looking for. Make sure you label fact and opinion when we get into it. Four, the thing that surprised me is that the teacher was given an award after the attack happened. Because again, I've had that dream. It was beautiful. Punched a child out and then got an award. Why does it keep and five, around? after I watched the video, I think the student was wrong for trying to start a revolution in a popular teacher's room. <laughs> Viva la revolution. So I'm going to give you a moment to go tappy, tappy, number one and number two. Home children, I'm going to pause here, not just watching me watch children, because that'd be kind of creepy. And we're back, as much fun as making fun of these children was. So now, um, if you're a home child, there's like a little button at the top of the thing, and you can hit it, and it brings up article thing, if you want to do that. Or I'm going to also put it up on the screen. Uh, so we're going to start with the one that says the, the man must love me over girl. See, I told you. It's yeah. like, it looks like a meat. Like, That's not like a meat, bro. Like there's a big one. So, oh, it looks like you like Slim Jims. I don't, <laughs> I like Slim Jims. I don't even He's know like, if that's you. I don't know if I like Slim Jims. This is literally the width of his hair. Wait, no, I don't even know. I do too. He looks like, like, like Sid from Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, 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 Home children, a copy of it's right over there, but you probably can't see it real well on the screen. So again, download thing, but I'll read it out loud to you. No, just so again, this is an idea. now you're doing Oxygen. three, four, and five. Find your fact, find your, well, I can't do five. Three and four. Find your fact, find your opinion, find your surprising thing. Although I'll tell you, in the one we're doing now, there's only a couple opinions. On the back side that we're going to do, there's a lot of opinions. Because it's definitely, the back side's biased for one side against the other. So if you struggle with opinions on this one, then just wait and we'll get to opinions on the back side. Because the back side was a very biased account. So it's chock full of opinions. All right. Is it against the girl or boy? I can't tell you that. It takes the butt out of it. The girl. You're going to forget it. Lawyer claims man who punched 11-year-old girl was defending himself. David Stephen Bell, the 6'5", 250-pound man, facing charges for punching a preteen girl at a North Carolina mall was acting in self-defense and suffers from various medical conditions, according to his lawyer. Just to give you, so I'm five foot 11-ish, so he's probably that much taller than me, and I'm about 170 pounds, so he's like a whole child wrapped around me. So he's a big boy. Not judging. He's just a big boy. Gives you an idea that he is a larger person than I am. Yeah, a bunch of judgy monkeys. His actions were in an effort to defend himself against the perceived threat from a large pack of youth who had trapped and surrounded him. The attorney, Andy Bajov, told the blah, 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 blah. That would be his, the old guy's attorney. Banzoff, who did not return calls for comment from HuffPost, the newspaper, who also said Bell, 51, is being treated for a traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder. Justified. A copy of the arrest report obtained by HuffPost on Thursday lists Bell as disabled in the section asking for an employer. Quick pause. You guys know what post-traumatic stress disorder? Yes. Yeah. So yeah, usually connected to people who have like veterans who have seen combat. Uh, it's usually because you have had some kind of horrible thing happen to you, and so there you're, you react differently to things. Like veterans who have been in a war and they hear the explosions and the gunfire. Like during Fourth of July, they don't like Fourth of July because it brings back bad memories for him. Wait, so, how, 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 this guy has had some kind of thing happen to him where he's suffering from PTSD. Like whether that plays a role, I don't know. I'm just putting it out there as a fact that they put it into it. Okay. Banzoff did not detail the cause of his client's alleged medical issues or say whether they will be used as a defense in court. Asheville P. Police arrested Bell on January 12th after he allegedly pushed and punched an 11-year-old girl and assaulted two 13-year-old girls at the Asheville Mall. A video that appears to show the alleged assault went viral after it was posted online. Yes, I managed to track it down, even though it's now been deleted from YouTube. Yeah. Bell of Black Mountain, that's the town, was arrested and charged with assaulting a child under 12 and two counts of assault on a female. 
the circumstances leading up to the incident are still under investigation. Banzoff told the Asheville newspaper that Bell was leaving the mall when he saw a woman being harassed by a large pack of youths. The attorney said Bell was surrounded by the youths when he escorted the woman to an exit. Things turned physical, Banzoff, the lawyer said, when a young female shoved Bell and then another girl stepped forward in an aggressive manner. Bell pushed the youth away, which caused her to lose her balance and fall. She then got to her feet and aggressively charged in the direction of Mr. Bell. As she entered Mr. Bell's personal space, he struck her with his closed fist. That is what is called an understatement. Bell is white and the girl he punched is black. They're putting that out there. You'll decide later whether you think that actually has a role in what occurred, but you'll see that they race, they are two different races. His actions were not motivated by any animus towards the persons in that group. That's fancy lawyer speak. What, when he says his actions were not motivated by any animus towards the group, that means what he did had no connection to who they were. Meaning, what he did did not matter about the race, about their age, about their gender. It was just people versus people. That's what that statement is supposed to mean. Mr. Bell's belief is that all persons are created equal and that all are children of God. Bell and his family, the attorney added, are praying for those impacted by this unfortunate incident. So that was the article I found. I was going through the internet and that first headline popped up and said, lawyer claims man who punched 11-year-old girl is defending himself. I went, <laughs> yes, please, click. Uh, and then I read it and I was like, whoa. And then I watched the video and I was like, whoa. And I got really excited about it. And so that's what we took a look at. The backside is the fallout from it, which we're going to get to not yet. So don't jump and read it yet, you sneakies. We're going to watch the video here in a second first. Yeah. Oh, are you showing the video of the... In a moment, not yet, but yes, yeah. we're going to get there. His neck is kind of so, to give you <laughs> well, one, there. here's the part where find your answer number three and four. Again, if you can't find good opinion stuff, it's going to show up in the next article in a second. There is other articles I didn't make you guys read, but I got a bit more background on what happened leading up to it. Supposedly, the there was a group of girls who were at a mall and they were harassing another teenage girl at the mall and who was there with her mom. This guy, Davis Stephen Bell, saw these girls harassing this other teenager and her mom and he stepped up and escorted this teenager and her mom out of the mall. Once they leave the mall, the girls continue to, instead of harassing the girl, this group of girls harass him instead. That's where the video kicks in and that's going to be where he then ends it. And so that's sort of what we get to from there. Yeah. So before we go further, do you guys have questions as far as fact or opinion that I can help verify one way or the other and sort of help give guidance? I will tell you fact-wise, anytime you can use numbers, it almost always connects to facts. Numbers and facts are like best friends that hang out together. Joey? Um, do they have to be direct, direct quotes or could they be paraphrasing? I would do as, as close a direct quote as possible. Right. That, way, that way I know exactly what you're referring to. Willie J? I did. Um, Bell punched a girl and assaulted two other girls. Is that a fact or an opinion? A fact. Yeah. The punching, yes. The assaulting, yeah. I'll pro the problem is it gets a bit into that more of opinion. And we'll see, when you guys watch it, some kids disagree that it qualifies as an assault. That's why the, the punching, there's no denying that one. The assaulting, that might be a bit different. Jack? Uh, so this video specifically specifically shows the girls harassing the old man. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, yeah. Yeah, okay, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's justified. You? Oh, yes. Um, the girl punched this woman. Yes, I would take that one. Gidget? Um, for a fact, David's even about a six-foot, five, 250 pound man. You use numbers, works for me. Omar? Um, and it could have been opinion be she then got to her feet and aggressively charged in the direction of Mr. Bell? Absolutely, because that's one of the arguments we're going to have is about whether you think what she does is aggressive or not. Because what he considers aggressive, you might not. And realize that's the same thing. If Owen stands up to go sharpen his pencil, and he turns around like, ah! And I just punch Owen in the face. Like, I thought he was attacking me. He had a weapon. And he was like, my pencil. 
And I'm like, well, you stood up real fast and just looked at me. So that becomes what you define aggressive is different than what someone else defines as aggressive. And so we'll see if what you see happens qualifies as aggressive. Depending on how close you got. Eric Clay? No, I put my hand up. Okay. Gray? Um, my effect was Bell was being treated for post-traumatic stress disorder and brain injury. I would count that. They're definitely saying that's what, whether he actually has them, I don't know, but he's being treated for them, I would count. Graminski? His actions were an effort to defend himself against the perceived threat from a large pack of youth who had trapped him and surrounded him. Fact or opinion? opinion. I would agree. I was gonna say that would definitely be more the opinion. Owen? Um, my fact is that the man punched the girl at the Asheville Mall. I would accept that also. Willie J? Uh, would this be a fact? Yeah. And Joey? Would a fact also be the girl he assaulted is black and Bella's white? I would count that also. That would work. So as of this point, how many, so I'm just taking a quick poll between we have team old man and team child. Just to get a general idea of the information that you have here, how many of you guys are team old man and say, yep, I definitely think that would ever happen. And how many of you guys are team child? I don't, I don't know yet. All right, and how many of you are still trying to make your decision one way or the other? And how many of you guys have been swayed by other people talking to you today? What does that mean? Meaning like you've heard other kids Persu talking Persu about Persu what Persu happened or talking uh, about the... Well, because, and oh, that's, other kids what? are me. And so that's part of what you get into with like a trial is if you've heard other kids talk about it, that sways your opinion as opposed to... Um, it's interesting that so that many of you are all for me punching out a child. No, not me. No, no, not, not you. Unless you have a good situation. Reason. Well, so, so you're saying in any situation with a ma grown man punching out an 11-year-old kid, you can see this being okay. Girl, who said that? Literally. Uh, 90% of this class raised their hand. Wait, no. Okay, listen, listen. In this, this old man is in this Hello? situation, I agree. Sorry. Um, Shia and his personal space bubble. We don't know about the We did watch know. The video we did know. I saw the video. She's in my face. I got oh, her. I got her. See? <laughs> you guys just said someone was in personal space. Maybe <laughs> See, that was your fault. <laughs> so, so hard. All right. I pick it up. Tiffany. Oh. All right. So you think we'll find out whether what you predicted in number two is correct? Eliana, then? See, what you're doing is twisting our words. How so? We never said you that we are fully supporting this man, a man just randomly punching a child. You in this situation, we're thinking he's in the right because she started it by harassing we don't him. Know. So, but my thinking is... Your thinking is wrong. Well, but here... <laughs> Your thinking is not a fact. Everyone is allowed their own opinion. Are but part of it is I'm not. having trouble where you guys can ever back an adult punching a child. Is that what it's about? What does age have to do with anything? Exactly. Why are you bringing up the age so much? Why are you discriminating against sex? Interesting. Maybe not. Yeah. 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 Not the argument I thought we were going to have. Nessa, would you like to be punched? Owen? Yes. That's a dream we can make come true. Owen? Um, I think he could have punched her maybe a little bit lighter, because she flew back. <laughs> 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 I've done a little bit lighter. Gray? Okay. So I'm going to look at him, and he's like, okay. Jack, what I'm saying is, I'm going to say that this is like, okay, so like, this is like, can you give me my example? Uh, okay, so let's go harass you, okay? Okay, uh, <laughs> so if I see someone coming up to you, do that, of course I'm going to be like, ah, and then, uh-huh. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay, and then, and then also, he does have, like, I'm not saying that this justifies anything. I kind of am saying it does, but it's not really. Um, what? He has, oh, be quiet, Omar. Um, he has, oh, has like, PTSD. Yeah. Has, <laughs> Focus. Lil Huggy, I'm not talking uh, uh. <laughs> No, it's an inside joke. You guys want to No, it's not. And basically, uh, but what the fuck was it saying? Oh, yeah, no, I remember. But basically, what I was saying. Wait, I, I forgot. Oh, oh, no, I remember, I remember, I remember. I remember. Um, he could just instantly. Oh, my God. I'm just talking. Don't make me forget. Don't make me forget. Um, don't make her forget. 
Right. So home children, the part now is you don't get to watch the video because I'm afraid they're going to pull it off YouTube. So home children, there's another link you'll have to go down to. Then after school, that link will be activated. And so I thought it got deleted off YouTube. So no, I had to go. it's on there. Mm -hmm. That's where I saw it. Okay. So anyway, you can go down there and you can watch it. But I can't play it right now. So we just, home children, we just got done watching video. So now we're going to get through the fallout from it. So this is what happened to him. It says, North Carolina man avoids jail time, sentenced to racial justice workshop after brutally punching 11-year-old black girl. A North Carolina man who was arrested in January for brutally punching an 11-year-old black girl has been convicted of two misdemeanors, which is like the smallest possible crime you can have. David, and this is from the, the original article, David Stephen Bell pleaded guilty of misdemeanor assault on a child under the age of 12, as well as one misdemeanor account of assault on a female for pushing a 13-year-old girl during the incident, according to the Buncombe County Clerk's Office. A second misdemeanor charge for pushing another 13-year-old girl was dismissed due to difficulties contacting the victim, according to the district attorney, meaning that the girl dipped and disappeared and refused to press charges. And they can't do anything if the person who was attacked doesn't show up. So she just dipped and disappeared. Okay, well, in January, that's the Root reported that Bell, 51, pushed and punched an 11-year-old girl in the face outside of the Asheville Mall in Asheville, North Carolina. He is listed as 6 foot 5 and 250 pounds in the incident report. According to Williams, Bell received a 60-day suspended sentence and has been placed on unsupervised supervision for the next 12 months. Additionally, Bell will be required to complete anger management counseling and participate in a racial justice workshop within the next 90 days. He will also be responsible for paying a court fee of less than $200. In the immediate aftermath of the assault, Asheville attorney Andy Banzoff tried his best to garner sympathy for Bell by asserting that he suffers from both post-traumatic stress disorder and a traumatic brain injury. However, that's no excuse for what transpired. Mm -hmm. And if yeah. anything, the lack of severe punishment for assailing a child is inexcusable. Preach. That is our ending bit. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we're almost done with class. What? So here's the part where before midnight tonight, make sure that you have finished that last part. Or after watching the video, who do you think was in the wrong? It's all the parts from there. I will upload the video to Canvas so you don't have to search for it after school, and you're more than welcome to get it there. And then I will refer back to this on Friday with our e-learning. Don't get in any fights with old men. Take off.